Good afternoon YouTube. So I had this package show up earlier this week. An Orec Orbiter Floor Machine. This is really good time to use my staple remover. If you don't have one of these, they are well worth getting. In fact, I got this for free from uh, Uline when I ordered some boxes. They included this and really handy tool. The only thing I did to it was I painted a little bit of red vinyl um, electrical insulation just to make the handle a little more comfortable. But boy, that, that's the only way to remove these staples here. Okay, about a dozen staples later, we've got the box opened up. And there's our floor machine. Take a look at that here. So yeah, just to uh, get this out of here. Yeah, so this is the Oric. I think this is the 550 model. So this is one of their commercial floor machines. If you're familiar with the random orbital sander, that's about what this thing is, is a giant one of those. So let me uh, get it out of the box here and we can take a look at it. Okay, there we go. I think it's pretty heavy. You can pick it up, but it, yeah, that's, it's definitely got some weight to it. And then it's got a, a 12 inch diameter uh, this is called the drive pad, I think it is. This is what you attach all your different cleaning things to. Yeah, you can see the random orbit action. So it's just like a gigantic random orbital sander. Okay, there we go. Got the drive pad installed. And uh, this comes with a nice long cord. I think they said it's a 30 foot extension cords. And it's really heavy gauge, so that's nice. That's what you get with the basic unit. This was $340 off of Amazon. It comes with no attachments. You do get the drive pad and the cord, but nothing to do anything to the floor. So this particular unit can do wood floors, dry cleaning on the carpet, and it also does uh, sanding, stripping finish and sanding wood. You can actually put 12 inch sandpaper discs on there, brushes, various nylon scouring pads, cloth and, and wool uh, polishing bonnets, and they just stick on the bottom there, kind of like a heavy duty Velcro kind of setup. But you don't get any of those with the basic unit, so let me show you what I picked up to go with this. So I got a couple of other boxes that came with this, or came in the same order. So I ordered a number of pads, and let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay, behind box number one. So this is one of their nylon cleaning pads. These are kind of like your scrubbing pads you use in the kitchen, except they're roughly three-quarter inch thick. And I think these have a slight abrasive mixed in there. And then I have some of these uh, brown scrubbing pads. These are quite a bit stiffer and they have, I think, the not quite the coarsest texture or grit to them, but they do have a, a grit, kind of like a scotch Bright pad, like you'd use for um, sanding and, and taking rust off of metal. So these things will strip finish off of floors. Yeah, so this box was a five pack of the white pads. So I think these, these are like very low grit. They're mainly just the nylon pad, so these are mainly for polishing floors, like a, after you wax a wood floor, or maybe put a, a sealer down on a concrete floor, you have the polishing pads. And then, what about this? This one here. Yeah, these are some of the brushes. So this was the polypropylene brush. I got the heaviest or the thickest fiber version. So there's one of those. And then there's also a natural fiber brush. So these are more for cleaning. I figure I can probably use these on my wood floors. This one I'm hoping will work on 
this concrete here because I figured I needed something to help me even out the final look of the floor so once I get everything stripped off in the entire room I need to go over the whole floor all at once you know so I've got to wet it all down at once and then make a pass over it with something like this or this or maybe one of these I don't know which one is actually going to work the best so I basically kind of did the shotgun approach I got a couple of different brushes a couple of different scrubbing pads and we'll see what works the best I will do some experimenting with this and then for my wood floors I picked up one of their polishing bonnet they say it's for carpet, but the, they say it's also good for, like, polishing wood floors. So anyway, I will let you know how this works, give it a few different uh, test cases, and see what happens here with it. If anyone uh, has any suggestions on these floor machines, feel free to post up in the comment section below the video description. I'll put any uh, follow-up video links in the upper right corner here and if you're new to the channel and haven't already done so you can subscribe with the link in the lower right corner and as always thanks for watching see ya